Hello, my friends. It is Denise from Loving Life at 60ish, and I am tempting fate. I have a coffee over here, so I'm going to move this. Um, <clears throat> we are doing games today, and if this goes up right, it will be Sunday game night. Um, <clears throat> how is everyone? Let's see. The last time I saw you was Pink Saturday yesterday. Um, just an update. We had a really terrible day yesterday. Well, actually, that's a strong word. He is very weak. And he has uh, no balance. And he almost fell while we were outside, my grandson and he and I, and luckily Eli and I were right there. Um, and stupidly, I thought his idea to check the oil in the generator was a good idea, and it was not. Um, it ended up being, a, to me, an unsafe, uh, stressful, decision and we ended up getting him inside and then calling his brother to come over and help us which was very hard on him because he wants to be able to do those things himself which completely understandable um today it is snowing <coughs> we have the heat track mats there's three of them out on our deck so that I did not have to shovel a path to get to the steps. I then had to shovel the steps, but um, to get the dogs to the steps this morning, which was very um, wonderful. Just so grateful for that. Um, four or five of his family members got together and purchased those for us. And we probably will add on to them by doing some steps eventually. But for now, this is good enough. Um, I've been out to shovel. I cleared off the car and moved the car. I walked the trash down. <laughs> um, I don't like winter. I, you can probably hear it in my voice. Um, but... It is what it is, right? I'm not going anywhere. Um, and so this is how it's going to be. And um, we do have someone lined up to come and plow if we need to. I moved the car so they could if they do, if we have enough plowable so snow. And... Um, I will just keep swiping off the stairs. It is not perfect. It is not how Scott would do it. And, um, but it is okay. So here we are. It's Sunday. I have some iced coffee. Mm -mm -mm. And uh, we're going to play some games. And there's 150. I'm ta I'm taking this out of the loop because <coughs> I know I've been alluding to some villain stuff, and you just gotta wait until Etsy shop drop, which is should be tomorrow, Monday, if this goes up on Sunday. Uh, but we are gonna play some games, and I have plenty of games to play, and we are doing. There's 150 here. Look, <laughs> I got my sort quick. And what is the most important one? The thumb. This really is going to last forever, Mariah. <laughs> Thank you. So we have 10, 20, 30. I am just looking. I'm not recounting because I've already counted, but I was looking to see if there were any star bills. I don't see any. He is resting right now, hopefully. If he's not, I'll hear the dog bark. 
<laughs> it's a good thing we got her. Helps me keep track of them. I don't know if I have enough ones. I may have to break in and make some change. I would love to do letterbox. Here's an L. Uh, I should not save any out because we're going to need these box butt. Box butt. Here's another L. Let's see. So I'm saving L's. If you are just tuning in and have never watched before or only watched a little bit, my pal um, Jackie, or JC as I like to call her, um, Jackie from the Blessed Daisy Budget sent me the suitcase because I love the movie Up and um, Carl it is my Scott quite a cur curmudgeon um, and I am a scrapbooker like Ellie was so uh, anyway Jackie sent me this it says our adventure fund and she filled it with L bucks and candy now I have the candy over here now um, but I am putting L bucks in and I'm going to fit them in until they don't fit anymore l stands for love she said which is perfect and who knows what i'm saving this for i don't know and it's okay i don't have to have everything directly correlated with some something that i'm saving um I, it is an adventure um our life is an adventure. So that's, I guess, what I'm saving for. Adventures. Um, I'm going to start with a, a new one. All of the games that I play pretty much are games are mine. Um, ones that I've created. But I do have some from other people also. And so I have this Hairspray Savings Challenge Edition. And it's just, um, I have the other stuff for hairspray um, in my pink album, my pink binders, and also in my scratch-offs. So they've spread out all over the place. It's from the movie Hairspray, obviously. And I could play um, Word Search or Big Blonde and Beautiful or... It takes two. And so I'm going to play Big Blonde and Beautiful. Roll a die, color in one icon in the column. Save that amount. For example, roll two, color in a blonde icon. And save two dollars. Save double if in a bubble. So it would be four dollars there. These are by saving by Sholanda. No, saving, saving with Sholanda. And I am going to. I think I'm going to just keep the money right in here because. Now you know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Maybe. Maybe I can't right now. Let's see. Oh, I can. I'm going to have two envelopes in here. Because this um, this dashboard won't fit in my uh, A6 album. So this is going to be my dashboard to put money in. And this is going to be my for game boards game boys game boards um let's use purple dice since we have purple and let's color in with i don't want to use red because red does not come off very well let's do blue Okay, so we're going to roll a dice, color in one icon in the column, and save that amount. 
Okay, four, so one, two, three, four, big. I love her uh, challenges. I have Barbie ones, one, two, three, four. Six is beautiful, so guess what, guys? That's 12 bucks right there. Ouch. Okay, 10, 11, 12, and then let's put that back and take a five. So that's 16 going in there, which is a little more than I wanted to do on each challenge, but it's okay. Okay, um, because we like to start right here every single time. <clears throat> Let's stay with the blue. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Shut the box. It kills me every time. I did get a shut the box the last time I played, and I didn't freak out, and everyone was a little worried. <laughs> because I didn't freak out. Um, but it was, I think I was just so tired. And, you know, it was right during Christmas and all that good stuff. So if I get one, I'll freak out. I promise. Eight. Nine. So we'll do a seven and a two. Donald is very greedy, but maybe Daisy will talk him into letting me do this. I got a five and a two is seven, so we'll do a four and a three. I don't know, you guys. Ah, I should have said what I wanted because we're discovering that when I say I want a six... I get one. I don't know why. Let's see. We're going to start with nine. Well, that was the other day, though. That could be changed now, right? Eleven. We have eight, nine, ten, eleven, eight, and three. Five. Okay, come on. Can I get a 13? <laughs> Another 11, a 10, a 7. I'll take a 7. <clears throat> an 11. Uh oh. I wanted an 11. Now I can't use one. See, I've got a six and a four. It's 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. And so we're going to call that six also. Five, six. I'm gonna put those two fives back and take a 10. I don't know why I got such bigger bills. Not that tens are big, but I don't have near as many ones as normal. So this should be empty because I emptied it out for the uh, Disney vacation and household renovations. And we're putting 12 in here. You know what I was saying about not having to have every savings thing allocated? Well, here's the thing, guys. Um, these could all change in a moment's notice. I just found out this year. Um, so as much as I would like to uh, do them uh, for what I think they're going to go for, that might not be what happens. Okay, we're going to play some tic-tac-toe. Here's Donald. This is one of my games in... So is shut the box. Um, 
uh, one of my games in my shop. And I think Shut the Box originally came from the Budget Nerd. Pretty sure. Um, not my Donald and Daisy one, but the actual savings challenge. <clears throat> um, all right, let's see. Mickey Mouse is three. Donald is seven. Ouch. I do have to keep track of this because I don't want to spend too much. Mickey is five. We can go one more time, I think, today. Ugh, ouch. Donald is nine. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, so we should have 15, 24, I think, 10. 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yes. Boy, that added up quick this time. Sometimes I can play the whole game and it's no worries, but not this time. Oop, I need to mark these. Donald, Donald. So I can play again. Mickey, Mickey. And we're going to put these, see, that's a tough one. Um, we're going to put these over here. But these ones go in the envelope. Okay, we have Moana. I ended here, evidently. <clears throat> Oh, I need a game piece. Let's use our focus. I have a new one coming from my Word for 2024. My Word for 2024 is rest. R-E-S-T. Three, four, five, six, two dollars. I feel as though this money is going to go fast today. Five dollars. We can go one more time. One, two, three, four, five. One dollar. Five, six, seven, eight. We could actually go one more time. Two, three, four, five. Three dollars. Okay, so we're going to take five of these. And take a five. I don't know why I thought I could erase that with. Boy, I, I do have to say that because there's no wind blowing or anything. Um, it's very quiet here today. I mean, there's like no wind. Oh, we have some money in Moana right now. That's good. What do we have? 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Let's do... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And put two fives in. That's good. I'll be able to pull this one next time uh, for the end of this month for next month's Disney stuff. Disney stuff. Oh, this coffee is so good. Hmm. 
I wonder why I have that in there this time. Well, let's play it. It's right here, Super Mario. And we're just doing one dice. And I'm just gonna roll a dice and I fill them in. Um, the last time I did the uh, saving with royalty and it ended up being $80. So, you know, and I did not, oh, I erased them, but I did not uh, double them. And so I'm not going to double them this time either. That's Princess Peach. I'm not, um, I don't know all of them for all of the characters. Take a five and put a one back. And that's all we're going to do in that one for now. This one is a long-term game. I don't pull it until it is done. We got, we're still playing um, Roll the Pigs. And this one is by Cindy Cat Budgets. And I hopefully, yes, I did. I just didn't erase them. I didn't get very far last month with it because I kept getting the pig on his, what was the, on all fours. I don't know what that was all about. Okay. Let's see what we do here. Let's move this over. I still don't have a lot of desk space, I've decided. Uh, work, work table space. I'm going to have to think some more about this, I guess. All right, let's see. See, what the heck? All fours, five, five, six, seven. That's what kept happening. I kept getting sevens and elevens, I think. Seven, oh, few, three. Right on their side, they're a dollar. This is such a fun game. Ah, oh, a piglet on all fours is five, eight, nine dollars. All right, I'm gonna have to stop right there, guys. Nineteen dollars. <laughs> Ouch! Ouch! That's not cool. How did I do that? Oh my gosh, is that really nine dollars? That lands on all fours is five. Three on his back and one on his side. Ah, <sighs> Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. These games are killing me. Okay, 19. Gotta do it. Just gotta do it. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We're gonna quickly put that away and not get it back out again. At least for today. I think that's the most that's ever happened. I have to stop talking about them landing on their backs. Because that was a big one. Um, we are going to play. We've... we've we're going to play some of these long-term ones. I'm not sure about Princess Opley yet. I haven't decided. We shall see. We're going to do roll the dice. Six. Wow, guys. I have no idea how much this is going to bring me when it's all done. One more. Three. Three. I haven't, I could add it up. I mean, honestly, right? So we have nine, but I just don't. And I don't count it every time either. Let's count it. I got my sort quick. Oh, 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 6, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. And guys, I haven't even finished one third of it yet. Right? One third of it. So it's going to be about $300 when it's done. <laughs> Maybe we'll get it done this year. Okay, we're playing Alice, and this time we're using the turquoise color. The first round we saved $79. And where did we end here? Let's see. We're coming out of here. Right there. Five. One, two is eight. Yowch. <laughs> we can go one more time. Four. One, two, three, four, six. Okay. We're going to throw that in there quick and move away. I don't know what's in here. Let's see. Five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Now it would be nice to get through another round. Maybe we will this month. Although we've only got one more time to play. So I don't know. We'll see. We did this one already. Saving with royalty, we're skipping for now. Uh, villain versus princesses. Right now, Ariel is winning. And the evil queen is coming in. I'm going to move this up a little bit. I feel like sometimes you miss all of the stuff going on, right? Okay. Three. Oh tie now, right? A tie with Ariel. One, two, three, and one more roll. One. Okay. Maleficent. All right. That's only four dollars in there, guys, but that's okay. Now, this one will go until one of them wins. And then I'll start over again. All right. Now, the nice thing about this one, I'm going to move this, is that I pulled the Queen of Hearts last time. And she's the most expensive thing. So... We are, oops, I don't know where the cards are. We are good. Right there. Disney princess. We are good because she was the most expensive card. But I'm not going to be brave. I'm only going to draw one at a time again. <clears throat> Oops, I just dropped the cards. I really need a bigger space. Clubs are $2. Okay, we can do that. Let's do one more. Clubs is $2. Um, we can do one more. <laughs> Heart, uh, spades. See, I keep thinking that's a a heart because it is red, right? Spades is four. 
we'll take a five and put back a one. And let me pick up my mess, guys. I am all about picking up after myself. At least for now. I mean, it's what? January 7th. So, I mean, pretty soon I'll change that and not pick up after myself. But for now, I'm doing all right. I have no idea how much is in this one. I feel like we might have counted it a while back. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 90. 100, 112, again, this is going to be a big one when it's done, and I know, you know, several of you have said, take the money that you've got now from it, and put it, you know, and then just keep playing it, but I like seeing that build up too, so until I start panicking, I'm going to leave it in there. We did not play dominoes the last time, so let's play a dominoes, right? And I have no idea what I'm going to pull here. We got these dominoes at Family Dollar, a four and a one. And a four and a two, four and a one right there. And let's see. So that's going to be $5, and we're going to leave it at that. This one is very long-term, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 46, 47, okay. I feel like we are spreading the wealth here. There's a lot of dominoes left. <laughs> well, there's 28 in total. These aren't shutting. I need, hey, this is off topic completely, but I need to make an apple pie. I've got some apples that are going, 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 gone. I, I did consider playing the Wendy game. Evidently, I did not put the um, thing in. These are not games. Those are, yeah. Uh, we're going to play the subtraction. Oh, look, we owe it $3. See that? One, two, three. Ooh. Well, this may be our last game. One, two, three. This one, again, is a long term, as you can tell. And let's see. Let's find the cards. I did restock all these. I was able to get a few more card decks. Um, no, I did wasn't able to restock one of them. It was either the Princess Edition or Princess Multiplication. But, I, again, when they're gone, they're going to be gone because... It, they're very hard to get a hold of. So, let's see. Uh, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm going to pick this one. Okay. 8 minus 7 is 1. Let's see. And then, 6 minus 0 is 6. Here's a 6 right there. Okay. All right, I have $10 left, guys. You know what I'm thinking, don't you? You're all shouting it. You're all shouting. You're shouting. Shut the box. Shut the box. Aren't you? 
I don't know, guys. Okay, this goes in here. This one is going to be another good one when it's done. I did have to, my, this was one of the first things I ever laminated, and I, I've, I, I've learned a lot since then, let's just say. Okay, those are games, and they're not, I mean, they're not games, they are, well, they are. I'm arguing with myself here. Let's see. Okay, you're gonna want us be here for Etsy Shop Drop tomorrow. I have a whole new um I have a whole new theme night planned. Let's see. You know what? We're gonna play this one because I took the villain clue out of here. Let's play clue this month. Okay. Now, I only have $10, so let's hope that I don't have to have a IOU, but if I do, it, you know what? It's not brain surgery, right? It's an IOU. Mm. It's really an I owe me. Okay, so we roll the dice three times. Once for who, what, and where. And I haven't played this one yet. I've played the other villain one. I have two villain ones. Okay, and I do them in a separate color each time I play so that at the end we can see which one adds up to the most, and that's who really did it. So, Professor Plum. Three dollars, guys. Okay. I can't make three dollars yet. Six, of course. With the wrench. That's nine dollars. I only have ten. I need a one. I need a one, guys. Oh my god! Oh, who would have guessed? Oh my gosh. This is so funny. I got a one. I honestly I'm not it's not a trick dice. Exactly ten dollars. Professor Plum with a wrench in the kitchen. Ten. Did I put where did I put? Did I not put it in here? Oh, come on. Did I put it back here? Yep, right there. That I couldn't have done any better had I rigged the game. No IOUs. Almost all the games that I wanted to play are played. Um, I am considering... Okay, that is after dominoes. I am considering, <clears throat> I'm going to put it up here, guys, Princess Opoly this month. And I was also considering the uh, Princess Bingo. But what I want to show you on that is, whoops, that $10 goes right in there. I'm, I'm still, I, that is unbelievable. Why can't I wish why can't I wish for something and it come true like that? Like I say, I need a one, give me a one, and I get a one. Why can't I say my husband is cancer free? He's cancer free, he's cancer free, and he's cancer free. The world just doesn't work that way. Okay. Um, so I wanted to show you the Princess Bingo, which I haven't I haven't played yet, and this is why. Look at the numbers, 15, 13, 9, 14, which is okay. 
Um, actually, you know what? Someone suggested this and I hadn't really thought about it. I'm not doing a blackout, by the way. I'm doing um, just a bingo. So uh, across or vertical or down. And someone had suggested this with another one of my games and maybe we could do this. So it'd be like having an IOU, but what it does is you play it now and then um, you decide, I mean, you play it and then you know how much you have to pay the next time you play games with it because it's a higher denomination. Oh, come on there. It's an idea. I think that's what I'm going to do. Why not? Because I'm, I just am not quite done. Not ready to stop playing games yet. Okay. So on this one, you don't have to roll a dice or anything. You just draw one and it gives you the number and the letter. Okay. So it's G. Oh, it doesn't give you the number. It just gives you the letter. G, and it's $7. We're going to do one more. <laughs> Princess, and it's $2. So $9. We're going to do one more. I'll tell you why, because usually the games I play at about $15. B, the castle. Is it going to kill me? No, look at that. Perfect. So seven, two, and three. So 10, 12. And we're going to do this. We have this one, this one, and that one. I don't know if I have an envelope for it, guys. I don't think I do. Okay, so we're going to put the ones that we've played in the envelope. Seven, ten, twelve. So, and we're going to put an IOU. $12. It's a bit much, maybe, but then I know next time I play that it has to go in here. Um, we're going to paper clip it. And. The beauty of it is I can put it, I don't think I have the bingo one in here. No, I can put it right in the front so that it will be forever a reminder that I need to put in $12. And then you might say, what are you going to do with the other cards? I'm going to put them back in the plastic container. Okay, now that really is it. I have been wanting to play this game, and but I'm worried about the high numbers. So if I give myself a chance to know ahead of time, that might work. I don't know. Maybe I'm just playing games with my head. Maybe. Okay, we're going to put that in there so that, you know how batteries and stuff are like that? Like you put it in there and then you can, well, no, that's not going to work, I guess, but we'll try. <laughs> I was hoping it would. All right. I think we're going to put, yes, so tomorrow night is Etsy Shop Drop. And I'm going to try to get it up tomorrow. 
in a timely manner. And it is also going to be a little bit of a savings challenge night too. Savings games and challenges. I'm really excited about it. I'm not sure where it's going to fit into the rotation of things, but I just don't care. I, I like creating and I really want to use this. So I will see you tomorrow night or tomorrow at some point right back here. And um, yeah, have a good rest of your day and happy savings. I will see you real soon. Bye.